So fifth grade and she is now graduating college next month at UH Mano. A new um, our next speaker, our speaker. I won't tell you who she is yet, it'll be a mystery if I call her. Um, in the Marshall Islands. So I remember I told you I lived in a few different countries and yes. Marshall Islands is another one. I'm going through puberty again with that voice crack girl. And um, so yes, and, and then to, to have her work at, as the intern at the Republic of the Marshall Islands consulate, which is a big honor in and of itself, and then she was being interviewed by people. Um, you know, I happened to see her, you know, on the internet being interviewed by, what was that, the technology? Think Tech, Hawaii. Tech, yes. Think, Think Pro. Tech. Mm -hmm. yeah. Think Tech. And I'm like, wow, this is a former student of mine. So I'm like, hey, can you come in and speak to my students? So I am so proud to introduce to you um, two people today. Um, our speaker is Ariana. But if you're not, this is for everyone. Yes. Okay. First of all, good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Ariana Cleveland. I am a Marshallese. And just before I start, I already gave you Marshallese. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. So I'm here to talk to you about my Thank you. 
a community effort to get me in school. My, my grandparents, my parents, they all sacrificed so that I could be in school and so that I could succeed in school. And so my way, my way of giving back is by finishing school. You know, it's my token of appreciation to my family and to my community and to all those who believe in me. And then I also decided to go to college because I want to contribute to our developing country, the Marshall Islands. Our current minimum wage is two dollars and fifty cents. With a college degree, you'll be making eight dollars or eight dollars and fifty cents. Um, so I feel like if I, if me and all my peers, you know, finish school, we would be able to make a change so that the younger ones, like you guys, wouldn't have to make two dollars and fifty cents. And I also chose to go to college because of networking. Because coming from a small country in a small island, I know that networking is very important. I know that building relationships with global power is very important. And that's the only way is to go to college because then now at college I got to meet a lot of people from different places. My classmates, my professors, my colleagues, everyone, you know, it's all about networking so that you can create a better future and a brighter future, not just for yourself, not just for your sister, your brother, not just for your little nieces and nephews, but it's for your entire community and it's for your country. And then I also went to college to have a secure future and to educate others just like yourself. And so my college experience, um, so the fun thing about college is that you get to make your own schedule. You can have like all night classes if you want, if you don't want to wake up in the morning. You can have, you can go to school like twice a week, like Tuesdays and Thursdays or Mondays and Wednesdays, you know. It's all up to you. You're the one that creates your schedule. At one point, I took all online classes because I didn't even want to be on campus. Yeah, but I don't really think that's that. I mean, if, if you can handle online classes, that's okay. All it is is like the, the teacher just like gives you videos to watch, like the lecture, and then you just like answer questions or like participate in the discussion. And then, so, in college, I learned how to be independent. It's all about responsibility. It's all about making wise decisions, whether you should go to the barbecue with your friends or go to the party or whether you should stay and finish your paper. It's all about, you know, just making the right choices because my first, to be honest with you, my first year in college, I didn't really realize how important it was to stay home and finish my homework. I was just, you know, trying to have fun with my friends, but yeah. And then, so why I really decided to come to college is because when I came to um, Hawaii in 2011 for high school, I realized that there's so much more out there than I originally thought, and I knew that going to college would, you know, make a difference in my community. You know, I came to Hawaii and I realized, wow, there's a lot of people here. You know, I, I mean, I, I came to Hawaii before, but I didn't really realize, like, the, the, you know, like the networks that I could be creating and just the amount of people that I could be meeting if I go to college. And so, I mean, college is just like high school, but it's more fun. You'll be independent, you'll be on your own. You're doing your own schedule. You're, you're in charge of yourself. And then, oh, and then one more thing. I forgot to tell the other class, but, so, this is not really an advice, but it's, it's just true about college. You know, you don't have to go to some of the classes if you don't want to. You just have to share notes with your friends. But don't do that, because I tried that, and then it wasn't, it didn't really work out for me. I think. So, I was kind of paid to go to college, um, I was on RMI scholarship, financial aid, and other grants. And I understand none of you are Marshallese, but we can work on getting these scholarships from other places. For me, the average um, refund that I got after my tuition was all paid, I would get like four to five thousand each semester if that was just for like living. Yeah, but that's when the tuition is paid. And when the tuition is paid at UH, you get a bus pass. So I get a free bus pass. <laughs> tell you that it's okay to fail because I personally I, I have failed to the point where I lost my scholarship I feel they, they gave me a lot of chances and I was just fooling around too much that I completely lost it and I had to be on like financial aid to be able to make up my GPA so that the scholarship would accept my application again and I failed my family when I got pregnant in 2015 and that was in, that was in a fun experience, you know, just feeling like you're a failure to your family, but that 
that's when I was motivated to finish school, not just for myself, not just for my family, not just to make them proud, but it was for my daughter. So that's why I was eager to finish school, and that's why I was determined to finish school. I feel my teachers, I feel those who believed in me, I feel my advisors, just by not showing up to class, just by not even doing my homework, I did all that. I was that, I was that student. But then when I realized that these people were sacrificing for me, I realized it was time for me to, you know, get myself all back together and finish school because I have people who believe in me. And just like you, you have people who believe in you. You know, it's, you might think, oh, you know, after high school, I'll be done. I'm not really, I don't really have plans. But you, think, you have to think about your parents who believe in you. They've been there by your side all day long. You know, they, they, they were just there from the first time. And then, you know, you know, you might get mad at your parents for like scolding you and this and that, but they know because they're adults and they've experienced more things that you haven't experienced. And so that's why you need to just believe in yourself and believe that you can succeed. And that's why you should never give up. In three weeks, I'll be graduating Julie Panama with a degree in political science. And honestly, I don't, I'm not sure what I'll be doing with my degree, but at least I'm done. And I'm more into working with the community, you know, helping you like you guys. If you're interested in applying for college, I can help you apply for community colleges. What what grade is this? Ten. 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 Oh, ten grade. Okay, yeah. You have a lot of time to, you know, there's a ready start program. You can start um, taking community college courses while you're still in high school. And then I can help you apply for financial aid. And then if you know any Marshall Lee students, you can tell them, you know, I have we have the Marshall Island scholarship that I can help them apply for. And then there's also an, um, a Taiwan opportunity. I work with the Ministry of I don't work with them, but I kind of collaborate with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs back home and they are willing to provide an opportunity for students here to go to Taiwan for school and it'll be all paid for. So if you just you know, if you want to apply to any of these, just let me know. And I think that's pretty much it. If you have any questions. upon what um, country you're from, there may be, I mean, there's Marshall Lee scholarships. Mm -hmm. There can be other scholarships that's uh, through your individual um, island group mm -hmm. or, um, I don't know, Filipino community, the um, Pacific Island communities. You just need to investigate it. Yeah. And 
Okay, no, I was just going to say also too, um, I think you were saying that there's other scholarships they could go for um, community colleges. Mm -hmm. yeah. That um, We have one student who's actually 11th grade, so they need to be thinking about mm -hmm. this now. And, and when you guys, next this time next year, yeah. when everyone's in 11th grade, um, this is the time to be applying mm -hmm. um, yeah. you know, for scholarships, because it takes about a year for everything to kind of process, is that correct? Yes, I started applying for college when I was I mean, a four-year degree is is um, the best than a two-year. But if people want to start off at a community college, but knowing you're going to transfer to uh, a four-year school to get the other two, because then you get a higher pay. Because your your degree in a two-year school is an associate's degree. It's called an AA, right? But if you get a BA, which is a bachelor's degree, or a BS, which is a bachelor in science that makes you have a higher salary. Yeah. So a four-year college is, is really what people should be shooting for when they're thinking about college. But if you wanna to go to KCC, that's kind of like a, a way to get in, because if you can show that you're already in college, you completed two years, and you've got some decent grades, then any four-year school would be open to accepting you. But if you want to start at, at a four-year school already, you know, you can try to apply for that. So it's uh, completely up to you. And there are scholarships available. I mean, just living here in Hawaii, um, there are scholarships, especially to all of the community colleges in UH, right? Yeah. yeah. It's doable. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like she said, they take the word of the teachers because, you know, we're not going to write stuff about you that's not true. So try to, you know, do the best you can as a student so then the teacher that you're asking can write about you in the best light, the best positive light. So you don't want to ask a teacher that you, you know, missed most of their classes and you failed or you know things like that because you didn't do the work because the teacher has to say what kind of student you are because that's why they're reading the recommendations <laughs> do we want this kind of student in our school so me as a teacher i have to write about your strengths as a student and what i know about you as a person so so you want to you know make sure you forget that because you're going to have to ask them for recommendations sometime next year. for college, that means you finish your college earlier. So you're already getting credit. So I know Farrington, don't they offer that here? Yes. Yeah. So if you participate in that, then that means you are already working towards your college degree. So instead of, if you're going to go to a four-year school, instead of it taking you four years, it could only take you three. Because you've done one of it while you were a senior or a junior. Yeah. So yeah, so I mean, look at all that extra you know, then you're, you're out in the world sooner making money, decent money. And then she talked about Marshall Islands, the um, when she goes back with her college degree, she'll get $8. Here, the same thing. Well, the cost of living is different there too. But here in Hawaii, you know, whatever the minimum wage is, that's what people get when you don't have a college degree. When you get a college degree, it goes up considerably. So, you know, if you just want to think about it in dollars and cents, it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah.
get into this. This is society. We need lots of people doing many things. You know, we need people to fix the car, fix the um, air conditioning. We need technicians. We need skilled laborers as opposed to unskilled. Unskilled labor means anyone can do it, and so you're going to get the lowest. But once you're a skilled laborer, now you're a professional, and now they've got to pay you more, which means you have to have a certification that proves it. Even if you go and get your car fixed or your parents' car fixed, you look on the wall, there's a certification there that proves that they know what they're doing. Even when you get your nails done, you know, you have to have the positive quality certification. So anytime you get certified in whatever area, you will get paid more money. And so here she's having a degree in political science. She's not exactly sure what she's going to do with it. But the nice thing is that she's just finishing a four-year college. All these doors are now open for her to choose from that were not open for her without this degree. So that's the nice thing for all of you to realize. Once you get that past high school and you do something else, that means more doors are open. And then when you do something else, even more doors are open. So think, and it gives you more choices. So it's okay for her to not know what she's gonna do because she has, she can sit back and look at her choices. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just having a college degree, many people are really open to hiring people with a college degree, even if you don't know anything about that job because they know that you're going to be able to handle it because you were able to get through college. Okay, let's, any questions for uh, Mariana? Well, 
really do to be, you know, disciplined to make sure you get back into it. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's the only scary thing. You'd be like, oh, one year could lead to two, uh -huh. and then you never know. Yeah. But so as long as you make sure you have that commitment, then you should be fine. Because a lot of kids in Europe, in um, Australia, in New Zealand, that's where they get that. I didn't even know about that here. Until I knew people from Australia and New Zealand. And they, they kind of like build that into their, their culture. Yeah. And so most people do take that one year off. But everybody knows that the following year, they go back. Yeah. But unfortunately, that doesn't cross over too well in, in uh, this culture. Because like, it's just the American overall. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well let's give Ariana a hand. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day. Thank you. And Tamara, that's here <laughs> And should we wish her best of luck because she'll be graduating next year. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Uh,